Uganda Gorilla Trek, June 2023. We stayed at Mahogany Springs Lodge right by Pwindi. It was very nice there. Uh, it was very crazy. It was uh, sunny right before this and it started pouring out of nowhere. But it was about a 90 minute drive from Kahi. And then the next day, we were headed on our gorilla trek. In the morning, our guide drove us to the visitor center to get our briefing. And it started with a performance from this group while we waited everyone getting there. And one of the rangers came to do the safety briefing and then we would get our groups assigned. Uh, they are 99% vegetarians, the 1% they feed them black ants, mushrooms that can live with. They tell you it's very safe, you just have to follow their instructions <laughs> and don't do anything stupid basically. This is the group we were assigned for our first day, Habin Yanja group. As you can see, all the members of it. They were in constant contact with the scouts and we had to follow the scouts directions to get around. We actually had to drive around a lot for to get to this one, around 40 minutes. And we, it was a very short hike for us. We got very lucky on this one. And yeah, it was like a 10 minute walk to the spot and here they were. It was truly surreal, like how close you get to be. Um, and there's so many, like they're just chilling there. So we got great views. Uh, the scouts are very helpful, like positioning you, helping you get, uh, yeah, great views. And they, uh, you get an hour once you make first contact with the first gorilla. And then you basically just are standing. They'll move you to different spots so you can see. They clear like a little bit of the, if there's some branches in the way. And yeah, the gorillas don't mind at all. They're just chilling, vibing, having a great time, just resting. And they're used to people since they're habituated, which is uh, pretty cool. We got two silverbacks in this group. This is the second one. Um, yeah, it was just crazy to see how huge these animals are and how just chill they were. <laughs> We also got to see some um, some younger gorillas in the group. There was a couple of babies. I, I didn't include any of the clips because they they were kind of blurry. But um, here's a couple couple of them just playing. And surprisingly, for all the bugs you see, none of them were going after us. It was just they're all around the gorillas. Like they didn't care about us at all, which was. Very interesting. I, I definitely expected with how humid it was to have a lot of bugs, but there wasn't really any trying to attack us. You see this one Eden and the baby on uh, the shoulder. This was uh, the one one moment where the there was only like a slight bit of worry, but the scouts just said stay still and. Yeah, he was just, after that, it was fine. Then, trek day two, we went back home. It, it was ends pretty early, early afternoon. And then next day, we had the Rushgura group. We had a new scout, and this one would be a lot longer hike. It took us about a couple hours, and it was very sweaty. Uh, very, a lot harder for this one, but it, I really liked this experience better because it felt like it was like the true trek. And as you can see, the baby is climbing the tree. This was actually a silverback from another group, or he used to be in this group, apparently. So they, they're familiar with him, but he was just taking a view over the valley. Got to see a family in there, some babies playing. It was truly crazy how close we got to, to see these guys. And it is definitely an experience I'll 
never forget, especially with once you uh, get up like get up the hill a lot of it we had to just cut straight through the brush like it was thick forest and they were just cutting it down we were just sliding over branches it was it was one of the hardest hikes despite not being like the craziest length like it was very steep and then it got very slippery just like sliding over wet leaves like walking through wet branches and but we we did it and it was very cool you see all the bugs around there Still, none attacking us. <laughs> Definitely one of the coolest things I've seen and just I was just in awe that we were there at that in the moment and it was just so cool to see having fun but the next day we got back in the early afternoon then we next day we got back traveled back to the kihi airstrip and we, we left very early for our flight and then we had a small plane flight from kihi to entebbe where we would fly back from entebbe to amsterdam to back home Overall, this was an amazing trip and trip of a lifetime, and I'm very thankful that we were able to do this. And yeah, it was such a fun experience with uh, to go and just just see. Like I never thought I'd be able to do this, and for us to have gotten the opportunity, it was uh, truly amazing. And even the small plane views on the way back. Like I had said in another video, it's just so cool to see. Uh, since you're flying so low, uh, you get very cool views of below. But we'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>